Hey guys, welcome to Netflix and Yin. If you have never done this class before, it is exactly how it sounds. We Netflix and we Yin. And so today I thought we'd do a ton of hip stuff. I've been getting requests to do hips, so I thought that we would spend some extra time doing that today. So let me know your thoughts. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I, I was kind of like encouraging us to all watch the same thing, but I I think that you should just watch whatever you want to watch. So um, this one usually has a little bit less queuing in it because, or a lot less queuing, <laughs> a lot less talking from me, which is like mind blowing for a lot of people, I know. Um, but just in case you're like, huh, I wonder if she should be queuing more. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to. We're actually gonna start off in swan pose which is just a fancy yin way to say pigeon. So that's what we're gonna do. So you're gonna reach back into your downward facing dog and don't be sure to kind of walk the feet out a little bit, put a little bit of movement into the body. And then you're gonna take your right leg, sweep it up towards the sky as high as you want to. And you're gonna take that shin forward to rest down onto the knee, or rest down onto the shin, I should say. And then you're gonna take your back knee and kind of walk it a little bit further back. Now, if you find that pigeon is too big of a pose to start with, start in deer. So you're just gonna literally sit on your hip, take the shin parallel, and then this back leg can go wherever you want it to go. Deer is a really nice way to warm up the hips to get into swan. So do whatever pose is gonna suit you at this time. And uh, you're gonna get into this pose for about four minutes. So stay with me. You guys ready? Set up your Netflix. Make sure your water's close by. And uh, here we go, Netflix and Yin. Welcome to the space. Come on, Netflix. You have one minute left. <laughs>
You take two more breaths here. Okay, and then stay where you are. I'm gonna shift so that I can face you guys. So you're gonna take, I hate shoelace in case you guys didn't figure that out. You're gonna take uh, your knee forward, you're gonna point it forward, take the left knee, you're gonna scoop it into the pit of the right. So your knees are kind of crossed. I know it's hard to see because I'm wearing black. Um, but your knees are crossed, kind of like you're sitting cross-legged in a chair. And then from here, you're just gonna roll back onto your glutes. I hate this pose. So if you feel like me and you're like, ugh, this is terrible, you're gonna take a block, any size. Oh, this is a really big block. My, my, okay, I'm really tall. It's like a booster seat. Um, but you can slip it underneath your glutes and then hang out here. Uh, this is gonna get pretty deep into your hips and uh, we're gonna hang out here for about four minutes. If you want to, you can kind of like shift the knees a little closer in if that feels a little bit more comfortable as well. And I'm gonna start the timer now. If you feel like this pose like just does not serve you, you can go half shoelace, which just means you're gonna straighten out the left leg, keep the right knee bent and just tuck this leg in and you still get a stretch into the hips as well. Um, you can do like fire log or figure four. So figure four sits here, you just make a figure four bend or fire log is shins parallel on top of each other instead. So please do whatever pose is gonna serve you. This is like a super casual space. Um, I just want you guys to do what's gonna serve you. I'm sadly going to do shoelace because I feel like I should, not because I want to. And so I'm gonna get uh, myself set up in shoelace. So please, again, just do whatever pose you want to. And if you find that you're like stressed out about the time, Trust me, you're not gonna be upset about missing half a minute in this pose. So, just get yourself into whatever pose serves you. And uh, I'm gonna hang out here. You're halfway there, you have two minutes left. You have one minute left. Stay with me. Okay, take two more breaths. Oh man, this one takes my breath away, guys. 
<sighs> okay, be gentle. But you're gonna roll over towards your hip. We're gonna straighten out the left leg and you're gonna unravel. Oh, um, we have a special guest teacher today. Her name is Binks and um, she likes she likes to talk, just to warn you. Okay, give the legs a little shake out, give them a little release, right? See, whenever you're ready, grab water and towel again at any time. Let me know if the room's too hot. Huh, a little online humor. Okay. And then we're gonna go into pigeon pose or swan on the left side, if, <coughs> if you can. Now your hair is, that's not for you. You have your own water. Your own water's over there. Gosh, you're ridiculous. Okay. Okay, guys, four minutes here. Yeah, you're just over halfway there. Stay with me. You have one minute left. Stay with it. You guys, one more breath here. You're kind of in the way. 
Okay, make your way back up. Again, I'm just going to shift to face you, but you guys can stay where you are. So just take the, your left knee, point it forward towards the middle of your mat. Take your right knee, scoop it in, and then you're going to slowly make your way back into your shoelace or your figure four or your half shoelace or it's any pose you want, I promise. It, I promise there's no wrong answer. Uh, make sure your knees are happy. Make sure you're feeling this in your hips. One thing I will say about shoelace is that if you actually take the feet and kind of uh, mess around with um, the angles, like further forward, further back, it'll change the pose quite a bit. It'll change the intensity of it, and so don't be shy to kind of make whatever motion you want to. Okay, and so get yourself set up. Four minutes here. Here we go. Kind of all over me. Yeah, you're halfway there. one's off. Okay, take one more minute. Few more breaths, guys. I'm really excited for this post to be over. I hate this post. <laughs> okay, guys. You're gonna roll over towards your hip towards your cat maybe, and then unravel the legs, nice and slow, and unravel, take those legs straight out and give them a little shake out. Okay, so from here we're going to go into Dragonfly. Um, I love this one. I think like 
it's a really easy way to watch TV. I actually used to, I tell the story all the time in class, that um, I joined dance really late, and so I was not super flexible. And I was not nearly as flexible as the girl of my age, and so I needed to do some catching up. And so I used to sit like this, and like do homework, and like watch TV, and do whatever I needed to do, just literally to try and get my adductors to open. So it was really fun. So um, if you, oh, actually I want this. Okay. I know, but you're in my way. I'm sorry. And so um, you can take props in front if you want to. And you're going to pull the flesh of the glutes back, like straight back, like physically pull the muscles back. And uh, try and think, pull them straight back rather than to the sides. And then from here, you can turn this. I would encourage you to make this taller to start. And then you're just going to lean um, onto, <laughs> onto your props. Um, <laughs> is it not nighttime for you? Like, why aren't you sleeping? And so we're going to hold here um, and we're just going to get into the adductors and into the hips and into the glutes and into the hamstrings. This one opens up a little bit of everything. So we're going to play. Turn on your Netflix. Here we go. Okay, now if you're feeling any pull into the knee specifically, don't be shy to kind of walk the feet in a little bit closer or even a pull into the low back. Shorten your stance out. It's not going to take away from the pose. Okay guys, you're going to stay where you are, but you're going to make this just a touch deeper, so don't be shy to kind of turn your props a little bit lower if you want to, or even take the elbows a little bit further forward. So, wherever you feel good, and hold here. Okay guys, if you want, you can make it a little deeper. Again, you can just stay where you are. So you can take your props. Again, just make them a little bit lower.
slowly come all the way back up and then you're going to take again hands into the pits of the knees you're going to pull the knees back in so that the feet come together into like a butterfly and you can take as close as you want uh heels to the pelvis as close as you feel comfortable and then just kind of butterfly the knees out a little bit okay don't be mad at me we are going to do um another hip opener stay with me here we're going to do fire log. If you already did fire log, doing a double dose of fire log, I promise it's not going to hurt you. Just make sure your knees are happy with this extension. And if you need to use props, use props. So you're going to take your right shin. You're going to take it parallel to your mat, the top of your mat. You're going to take your left foot, step it to the outside of the knee. Then you're going to drop the left glutes down. Well, left glute, you only have, well, no, you have more than one glute on the left side. And so uh, you're going to get yourself comfortable in this position. Make sure you can see the bottom leg so the shin is going to be parallel to the top. And then from here you're just going to take anything you need like my shins. I have a really good range of motion. I'm a pretty flexible person but um, I have a knee injury and a back injury that kind of don't really allow a lot of rotation on this side. And so my knee doesn't want to touch and so over time it gets closer as the pose goes on. But I find that if I put a block in here, my muscles actually relax more and it actually helps me get deeper into the pose. And so don't think that bigger equals better. So a lot of times in yin, the more comfortable you are, the more effective it is. So um, get yourself into a position that you feel comfortable with. And we're going to be here for about four minutes again. Come on, Netflix. Oh, my Netflix is frozen. There we go. Okay, now if you're looking to make this pose deeper, if you lean forward into the pose a little bit, um, if I actually take this block out, and I literally lean onto my top shin, it'll create a little bit of an anterior tilt, and it makes this quite a bit deeper. If you feel it in your knee, then back off. If you feel it in your hips and it feels sustainable, stay back. Okay, you're halfway there.
You have half a minute. Welcome to your good home. <laughs> Take two more breaths. Okay guys, nice and slow you're gonna come up. You're gonna do the same thing you did to get out of shoelace. You're just gonna roll towards that hip, the bottom leg, and then you're just gonna straighten it out. <laughs> My dog is very upset with somebody out there. And then give the legs a little shake out. Okay? Let's switch sides. <laughs> I may have to go check on what's going on out there. Take a left shin parallel. Take the right foot, step it across. That's it. And then slowly drop the glutes down. You're going to find that your range of motion is going to be different on each side because, well, you don't treat your legs the same. So they're not going to behave the same. And so your hips, your arms, your leg, you don't treat your body the same on each side and so it's not going to behave the same when you go to put pressure on it. So from here, four minutes, fire log. Ooh, stay with me. Sounds like it was worked out. And you're halfway there. You try and soften out your shoulders. Mine gets so tight when I get stressed out or uncomfortable in a pose. So try and roll them back a couple times if you can.
Two more breaths. Okay, be gentle. You're going to roll over towards that hip. Straighten out the leg nice and slow. That's it. Unravel. Oh my gosh. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> Your hips. <laughs> okay, we're going to do um, saddle pose. We're going to start with half saddle. So the way this one works is you're going to stay exactly where you are in your seat. Um, you're going to take your right leg and you're going to tuck it in so that your right foot sits beside your hip. Now you can actually lay back on this one if you want to. Um, I find that I like to do this one full saddle, just sitting up and I find the perfect amount of stretch. But if you want to, I'll turn sideways so you guys can see, uh, you can be in this position and then you can actually tuck the tailbone under a little bit, create a little posterior tilt. And then you can drop down onto the elbows or all the way down onto the back. And if you find that that's like the stretch you get into your quads and your hip flexors, awesome. Um, if you find half saddle is not deep enough, or again, you don't want to lean back, um, I usually like to tuck both legs in, separate the feet, sit between it, and you just hang out in a saddle pose. So I promise there's no wrong way to do this if you decide to do half saddle. Um, and you can also sit on a block if you can't get down between the feet. Um, it just takes off a ton of the pressure from the knees, which is really necessary for a lot of people. And then, um, yeah, just kind of make yourself as comfortable as you want to. I'll switch you halfway through. If you're going to do half saddle, I'll switch you so that you get obviously even for both legs. If you're doing both with me, you can always come out of the pose, shake it out, go back in. I find that to be really effective. And so there's no wrong way to do this, I promise. Just please be mindful about your knees. Um, if two knees is too much, just do one. If it's still too much, um, try sitting on a block. And if it's still too much, roll onto your belly and then just uh, bend into the knee and grab a hold of your foot. And that is the same pose, it's just way less intense. Okay? You're half a minute in, stay with me. Okay, you have half a minute before we're going to switch legs. Can you take two more breaths? Now to come out of this, you can literally just lift, lean forward, and you can actually just drum the feet out onto the ground, or just roll onto your seat and shake the legs out. I promise there's no wrong way to do this. There's like no wrong way to practice yoga. If there's just, there's unsafe ways and there's more effective ways, but there's no wrong way to do things. And so just make sure that what you're doing feels like it works for you. Um, then from here, take a little break, let the blood kind of flow into the legs, and then we're gonna switch sides. Um, or you're just going to do the same pose again. I like to come out and go back in. I think it makes like, it's so much more tolerable. Um, and I think it just gets like the right amount of stretch. So do you, okay, lift your hips up, tuck the tailbone under, drop the hips back down. You can also take the knees a little further apart from each other. If you find that, that pulls a little bit less into the knees, I find that helps a ton. And so just do you, we're almost there guys.
you take two more breaths. Okay guys, sorry. I got distracted by Netflix. Okay, slowly come back up. You're gonna again either drum the feet out or just uh, go onto your seat and shake the legs out. We just get some blood flow into the legs. Okay, so we're gonna end this off in a spinal twist. So you can uh, roll down onto your spine and you are going to take um, feet down onto the ground Pick up your hips and shift them towards the left side of your mat and then pull your knees up, drop them towards the right and you're going to create like a 90 degree angle. I find this is like the most effective way to do this. So ankles to knees to hips, it's like 90 degrees and then take your right shoulder, walk it towards the right and then drop the left shoulder back down. Now I am a huge fan, now that I've set myself up, I'm a huge fan of something under my head. Uh, it just feels way more comfortable. And so if you want something under your head, as long as your neck feels happy, that's what you have to do. So, and then we're going to hold here for about, well, it's probably going to be about two minutes. You take two more breaths. Okay guys, and then you can actually roll over towards your right side and just like roll into a fetal position to release the tension or you can roll onto your back and however you want to, you're gonna start to switch sides. So. Um, you're going to again just pick up your hips, shift them um, away, so you're going to shift them towards the right side, and then your knees are going to drop towards the left. Um, make that 90 degree angle best you can. Oh, I wish you guys could have heard that pop, it felt so good. And then you're going to take your um, left shoulder, walk it left, and then you're just going to allow yourself to hang out here.
And take two more breaths. Okay guys, be gentle. You're gonna slowly start to come back up. That's it, shift the hips back to center. Whew. Take a couple deep breaths from here. It's like my favorite way to seal out the practice is uh, is with a spinal twist. It just feels like it pulls everything together. It feels like it pulls your whole life together. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. Okay. okay. Guys, thank you so much for coming to this very unique style of yoga. If you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Don't be shy to write a comment below. And uh, thanks, guys. Love your faces.